In this channel, we've covered many foods that lower blood sugar, but it's easy to overlook drinks, an area where blood sugar easily spikes and causes absolute chaos in the body. So today, we're going to look at 11 drinks that lower blood sugar naturally, including diabetic-friendly and delicious alternatives to the most popular fruit juices, which can be extremely dangerous, so that you can move forward with confidence, knowing exactly how drinks impact your health, equipped with a handy list of drinks that will help you balance your blood sugar. But before we get into it, go ahead and like this video, ring the bell for future notifications, and make sure you subscribe to Diabetics Talk for more practical help battling diabetes. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get not one, not two, but three free gifts. Okay, before we jump into the exciting stuff, let's talk about a fundamental. Number 11, water. Water is vital for controlling blood sugar. Water should be your primary beverage of choice. When you are even slightly dehydrated, your body does not function efficiently and this leads to high blood sugar. Water dilutes the glucose in your blood and allows the kidneys to flush out any excess glucose. So the single most important way to dilute your blood and reduce blood glucose is to drink plenty of water. For women, the daily recommendation is around 1.6 liters or 6 cups, and for men, around 2 liters or 8 cups, although this will vary depending on your lifestyle and your unique constitution. Now to mix things up a little, number 10 is lemon water. There are many benefits of drinking lemon water. A recent trial published in the European Journal of Nutrition found that drinking lemon water was associated with 30% lower blood glucose levels after eating, compared to people who drank plain water. According to researchers, lemon reduces the glycemic response by increasing the meal's pH level and slowing digestion meaning that glucose enters the bloodstream more gradually and prevents dangerous blood sugar spikes or hyperglycemia. Other studies have found that lemon increases insulin sensitivity and improves the breakdown of lipids, which is good news for healthy blood sugar, as well as supporting weight loss and healthy weight management and preventing cardiovascular disease. Lemon has also been shown to reduce the incidence of diabetic neuropathy, nerve damage brought on by persistently high blood sugar. Finally, lemon water is a good source of vitamin C, which has been shown to aid the regulation of blood glucose levels and, of course, boost immunity. So if you're looking for a natural way to help control your blood sugar levels, drinking lemon water is a fantastic place to start. At number nine, ginger tea. Ginger tea is made by steeping grated ginger root in hot water and combining with a squeeze of lemon if you wish. Its health benefits are mainly attributed to its potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Research shows that ginger can help to control blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. One randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial found that ginger significantly reduced the levels of fasting blood sugar, hemoglobin A1c, and apolipoprotein B, markers associated with diabetes-related complications and long-term blood sugar control. Other studies have shown that ginger reduced markers of heart disease, and a number of animal and human trials have identified benefits for weight loss. Moderation is key with ginger, as excess can cause heartburn and stomach problems. That's why experts recommend no more than 4 grams per day. If you take medication and don't currently eat ginger, talk with your doctor before adding ginger tea to your diet because it can interfere with some medications. Number eight, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is booming in popularity due to its ability to detoxify and alkalize the body. While there isn't a ton of research yet, a number of small studies have shown apple cider vinegar to be effective in controlling blood sugar levels. 
one animal study found that rats who were given apple cider vinegar reduced their A1C long-term blood glucose levels. Another human study found that drinking 20 milliliters of apple cider vinegar in water significantly reduced blood sugar levels after eating. The thing to note here is that you only need a small amount mixed with water, lemon water, or in your ginger tea. And it's best to start very small and gradually increase the amount over time, as consuming too much too quickly may cause digestive upset. Essentially, the body can take time to adjust to apple cider vinegar, just like your muscles take time to adjust to a new workout routine. Start with a few drops or half a teaspoon and see how your body feels. From there, you can gradually make your way up to one tablespoon mixed into one cup of water each day. This is an excellent way to start the day, cleansing the blood and delivering a good dose of vitamins and nutrients that will set your body up to perform optimally during the day, such as acetic acid, which helps the body to better absorb vital nutrients from food. Just quickly, there are a few things to consider when using apple cider vinegar. First, it is important to make sure the vinegar is unpasteurized, as pasteurized versions may not contain the same beneficial compounds. Second, apple cider vinegar can affect tooth enamel, so avoid brushing your teeth immediately after drinking, and you might want to drink it through a bamboo straw. Finally, those who are taking medication for diabetes should speak with a doctor before adding apple cider vinegar to their diet as it may interact with some medications. Number seven, pomegranate juice. If you are a diabetic and looking for a more blood sugar friendly alternative to orange juice, then pomegranate juice is a good option. Pomegranate juice is full of phenolic compounds, which have been shown to aid blood sugar balance, as well as improving artery health and reducing the risk of heart disease. A clinical study published in the Journal of Nutrition Research found that drinking pomegranate juice improved insulin resistance and reduced fasting blood glucose in type 2 diabetics. In the trial, 85 type 2 diabetics were given pomegranate juice and had their serum glucose measured after one hour and again after three hours. The tests showed decreased fasting serum glucose, increased beta cell function, and decreased insulin resistance. Why pomegranate? This brilliant red fruit is known to contain a unique antioxidant profile in the form of tannins and anthocyanins, which are believed to offer a number of blood sugar regulating benefits. However, remember that even organic pomegranate juice contains reasonably high levels of sugar, so always practice moderation when it comes to juice. Additionally, eat something rich in protein or healthy fat alongside your pomegranate juice to avoid blood sugar spikes. And let's be honest, it's even better to eat the whole fruit whenever possible to get the full fiber benefits. Number six, coffee. If you need your morning cup of joe to start the day off right, we've got great news for you. Moderate coffee consumption may benefit blood sugar. In addition, coffee has been shown to reduce the risk of cancer, heart disease, stroke, and Alzheimer's disease. Coffee has traced levels of important nutrients such as magnesium, and studies have found that it has an anti-inflammatory effect. However, some diabetics are sensitive to caffeine. For some people, it will positively impact blood sugar balance, but for others, it may cause short-term spikes. So monitor how your body responds to coffee. Go for decaf if you find you have a problem with caffeine. And of course, we're talking about black coffee here. If you take sugar with your coffee, that's definitely something to cut as it's going to spike blood sugar. And the same goes for artificial creamers that are packed with chemical nasties. If you enjoy these additives, try going a month without and see how your tastes can adjust. That way you still get your coffee hit without the dangerous side effects. And if you really insist, a little stevia and almond milk can help if you prefer your coffee sweeter or creamier, but black is ultimately best. Next, we'll look at a drink that works so well with blood that it's sometimes used in emergency medical care. But first, it's time to reveal your three free gifts. 
Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free one-hour documentary, The Scary Truth About Sugar. And not only that, we are giving away a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to the list. At number five, coconut water. Coconut water is nature's gift to healthy blood. Coconut water is so well suited to our bodies that it is sometimes injected directly into the bloodstream when intravenous saline isn't available. This emergency technique was used during World War II and is used in emergency situations on tropical islands when it's not possible to reach a hospital. Coconut water contains natural electrolytes, potassium, and manganese, which are important for blood health, muscle function, and nerve signaling. And although it tastes sweet, it's low in sugar, so it won't spike blood sugar levels. Laboratory research on rats found that coconut water is beneficial for stabilizing blood sugar, as well as preventing retinal damage associated with diabetes. Other studies showed remarkable improvements in HbA1c levels, better blood sugar regulation, and protection against oxidative stress. Just avoid coconut water that's had sugar added. And if you ever have the opportunity, try drinking a fresh green coconut straight from the shell. Number four, beetroot juice. Didn't expect to see this one on the list, huh? Beetroot juice is densely packed with vitamins, minerals, and unique plant compounds that improve blood sugar balance. Beetroot is particularly high in polyphenols and dietary nitrates, which have been shown to have a beneficial impact on glucose and insulin regulation. One study published in the Journal of Nutritional Science found that drinking half a cup of beetroot juice led to significant reduction of blood glucose levels after eating. What's more, beetroot may prevent the body from overloading on carbohydrate. Researchers believe that the polyphenols in beetroot actually inhibit carbohydrate absorption into the intestine, as well as modulating glucose uptake in the cells, helping the blood to maintain a healthy and stable level of blood sugar. Beetroot juice also contains very special compounds named beta-lanes. Beta-lanes provide the rich color pigment in dark purple beetroot and yellow beetroot and offer potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory protection, which help your organs and blood to function optimally. Beetroot juice isn't for everyone, but it's worth trying if you're serious about bringing blood sugar down and boosting your nutrient intake. Number three, red wine. Red wine is widely known to have benefits for the heart and blood health. The polyphenols in red wine have been shown to improve fasting blood sugar levels. White wine also contains beneficial polyphenols, but they are much higher in red wine, which is why it's often touted as the healthier option. Studies have also shown that moderate red wine can reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. It contains a number of antioxidants that are believed to support healthy cholesterol, which directly impacts heart and artery health. However, it is important to remember that excess alcohol can cause other problems in the liver and kidneys, so it's best to stick to guidelines and limit yourself to one or two glasses per day. Number two, tea. Tea is one of the most popular beverages in the world, and it has been associated with a variety of health benefits due to the various plant compounds that it contains. Some teas have properties that are especially beneficial for people with diabetes, such as black tea, green tea, and oolong tea. These teas help to control blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Additionally, herbal teas such as peppermint tea, chamomile tea, and hibiscus can be helpful for managing diabetes symptoms. When it comes to lowering blood sugar, one tea stands out above the rest, green tea. 
Green tea is a winner because it's so good at fighting cell damage, which flows through to anti-inflammatory and blood sugar balancing benefits. A meta-analysis of 17 randomized controlled trials was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Researchers found that green tea consumption significantly reduced the fasting glucose and hemoglobin A1c, and also reduced fasting insulin concentrations. Likewise, black tea is full of potent compounds called theoflavins and theorubigans. Studies have shown that these special compounds have a powerful impact on reducing blood sugar and helping to protect the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Keep in mind though that some teas such as green tea and black tea do contain caffeine. Some diabetics find that caffeine will impact blood sugar while others won't experience any impact. So be sure to monitor yourself and understand how tea affects your unique body. If it's an issue for you, you might like to try decaf tea. Finally, physical and chemical stress has a direct impact on diabetes, so a warm cup of calming chamomile tea is a perfect way to wind down at the end of the day while cleansing your blood. Chamomile contains an antioxidant called apigenin, which binds to certain receptors in the brain that have calming effects. Beyond its calming effects, studies have shown that drinking chamomile tea led to significant reductions in HbA1c levels and protects against oxidative stress. So as you can see, there are a number of teas with varying benefits for lowering blood sugar and promoting overall health. Write these down and enjoy a variety of tea throughout the week. Organic is best so that you avoid any pesticides or unexpected chemicals, and you'll find that spending a little more on a quality tea is well worth it. At number one, we have kombucha. That's right, it's the latest fad and a potential replacement for high sugar soda, and for a good reason. Kombucha is made from tea that's been fermented, often with other flavors added in like lime and ginger or beetroot and pomegranate. During fermentation, bubbly acid and healthy bacteria form a mushroom-like blob known as SCOBY also grows, creating probiotics which aid gut health. The final product contains various plant compounds, acetic acids, lactic acids, and EGCG. EGCG or epigallocatechin 3 gallate is one of the strongest antioxidants in kombucha and has been shown to reduce inflammation linked to diabetes. A review of seven trials involving 1,133 participants concluded that EGCG significantly reduced fasting blood glucose and fasting insulin concentration. Thanks to its unique composition and antioxidant profile, kombucha is believed to be beneficial for blood glucose levels, blood lipids, insulin resistance, and chronic inflammation. As a diabetic, chronic inflammation means that the organs are overworking to process nutrients and eliminate waste. When the body is chronically inflamed, it becomes more resistant to insulin. Kombucha helps the body fight back against this. Several experiments on animals have found that kombucha may enhance the body's ability to slow down the digestion of carbohydrates, improve the quality and health of cholesterol, detox, and reduce the risk for diabetes complications. Kombucha is relatively new in terms of scientific trials. However, the early evidence is promising. The fact that kombucha is derived from tea also allows scientists to draw on similar studies showing the health benefits of tea for blood sugar control, as many of the same compounds are present in kombucha. But the main difference between tea and kombucha is the number of probiotics in kombucha. Probiotics are essential for healthy gut bacteria, liver health, and overall digestive function, which impacts how nutrients are absorbed into the body including the regulation of how much glucose enters the bloodstream. But let's be clear, not all kombucha is made equal. Make sure to read the label and avoid added sugar, as that is going to spike your blood sugar no matter how much healthy probiotic you're getting. Okay, there you have it, 11 drinks that lower blood sugar naturally. Water, lemon water, ginger tea, apple cider vinegar, pomegranate juice, coffee, 
coconut water, beetroot juice, red wine, tea, and kombucha. And now we want to hear from you. Have you experienced better blood sugar control when consuming any of these? Share your thoughts with our community in the comments below. It might help a fellow diabetic. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. Oh, and don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes-fighting day.